Some breaking news in a CBS Sports HQ. The Minnesota Timberwolves have fired head coach Ryan Saunders and plan to hire Raptors assistant Chris Finch as their next head coach. The hiring news comes per The Athletic. Saunders led the T-Wolves to an NBA worst 7-24 start to the season. The son of NBA mainstay Flip Saunders, Ryan became the youngest head coach in league history last year at the age of 33. Checking back in with NBA insider Bill Ryder. Uh, Bill, let's begin with the firing here. The news handed down late Sunday night following a 103-99 to loss to the Knicks. Bill, at 7-24, and I won't ask you if this comes as a surprise, but the timing of it all, was this on your radar in the days to come? I, I think talking to folks, Joe, around the NBA, you knew it was coming, but this was a more difficult decision for the Timberwolves than it would normally be. Obviously, Ryan Saunders is the son of beloved and the late great Flip Saunders. That played a role, and as recently as a year and a half ago, when we could actually all talk to each other in, in person, I can remember here in L.A. having a long talk with Carl Anthony Towns here in Los Angeles about what Ryan Saunders brought to the table, the optimism they had, the belief they had that this was going to finally be the way to bring some positivity and tap into the talent on that team. So I think from their superstar who thought this was going to be the guy to their general manager who came into this job at the same time that Flip Saunders went from interim to head coach and the personal connection, I think we knew it was coming. We also knew the Timberwolves didn't want to do this for, for personal reasons and sometimes that makes for awkward realities and, and weird timing when you finally feel like too much is too much. And, and I think weird timing I mean, is the key phrase there because why now would be not my next question if you're going to do this mid-season to incite some sort of change when the problems within go further than the guy at the end of the bench and I think that truly is the case with the Minnesota Timberwolves is this wipe the slate clean or is this the guy we had our eye on has come available somehow it's a good question, and I, I, I can give you an educated guess talking to people around the NBA, but no one that I talked to was under the impression that when, and it, it was when Ryan Saunders was let go, that they were going to find a, a head coach reportedly, presumably the next day. I think the assumption was there would be an interim. They're obviously the worst team or one of the worst teams, depending on how you want to stack it, Joe, in the NBA. It's not like they're fighting for something. They bring in a guy, they're going to make this, this sudden push. So it's a very strange situation. I think it's fair to speculate that the general manager probably has some pressure on him, and these moves sort of happen when you've got some pressure. And maybe they're in love, reportedly, with the assistant coach coming out of Toronto who is going to be the next head coach. But but again, it's, it is just a very – the timing is very weird. It is, and the name that is being floated out of Toronto is Chris Finch. Another oddity here, it's not often that we see someone poached from a coaching staff mid-season. I mean, is there a decorum to that or sort of a, a, a right of waving the hat and allowing your assistant coach an opportunity to be a head coach? Just sort of awkward sidestepping that Toronto has to do now. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to, like, you know, be a little bit better with, with my word use. I guess I'll use bizarre instead of weird because, obviously, with Ryan Saunders, he was fired shortly after coaching a game in which, again, uh, following what's been a pattern for, for a long stretch of games, the Timberwolves lost. But it's not like, and you know this, it's not like you can fire a guy and then two hours later have already hired your next head coach. So it feels like the process had already taken place. I think that's a, a reasonable assumption to make, which begs the question, if you already knew you are going to get rid of Ryan Saunders, if you knew he was going to go away, why not just fire him and at least have it make it look like with an interim coach for five or six days that you had the respectful space in between? It is a very unusual process to fire a guy and then to have reports about who the next head coach is 30 seconds later and then presumably on Monday morning to wake up and this is what the term of the statement they've just put out and to get more information which I think will be probably an announcement about the head coach having been hired all of it very very quickly. That sort of uh, firing and hiring cycle only happens with Texas football. I had to double check my notes here Bill and the irony of it all is that <laughs> The loss that spurs the firing comes against former Minnesota Timberwolves head coach Tom Thibodeau and the New York Knicks. Bill Ryder continuing to track it all here on HQ. Thank you, Bill. All right, here's a look at the road ahead for the Timberwolves and whomever may be at the helm. Doesn't get a whole lot easier. You got the Bucks on Tuesday. Best of luck. Uh, then a highly motivated Bulls team if we're doing a full Tom Thibodeau circle here. They get the Wizards on Saturday out in front of them then. The Suns at home and the Hornets as well. 
you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.